Hey y'all, welcome back for another video. So today I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup because today is my birthday. So all of the products that I use will be listed down below and I'll be showing y'all um, as I'm using them. And let's get into this video. All right y'all, so I'm starting off with this Perfecting Primer by Hard Candy. If I can remember the names of the products, I'll say it or list it. Um, but this primer, when you put it on, do you see how it makes my skin smooth? It fills in my pores, the lines, and everything in my face. But overall, it makes my face look like it has a powder over it and it has like a soft feel to your face. I love this primer. I did my eyebrows off the camera because I probably would have been on camera too doggone long. So I did those off camera and I used Wet n Wild. I'm not sure what um, color the pencil is. I tried to show you all, but my camera was, I don't know, it wasn't focusing. But yeah, I did that off camera and I used Wet n Wild. So if you all care to see this eye look, that will be my next video. I did record that during um, this video, so I will have that up next. The uh, Fenty Beauty, um, I received the foundation through the BoxyCharm. They had the add-ons, and I purchased that separately from um, going on the Fenty Beauty site and purchasing all these other items. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm using. I used the concealer. Um, I believe it was a powder foundation and the foundation and there were some other products I forgot to use them I was just like all over the place I'm not a uh, makeup guru or anything like that I just do what works for me so um, hopefully this video isn't too confusing or too long I was so scared when I put this concealer on, but you guys will see um, it blends out really, really well. And you know what? I think I shouldn't have used the beauty blender when I did my foundation and the concealer. Um, it gave more of a coverage, a better coverage, and it blended out even better which, with the beauty blender, which is not a beauty blender, it's by Real Techniques, but um, I should use the brush um, when applying this stuff because I noticed that the beauty blender it soaked up a lot of the product but I was scared of this color I'm like oh is it too light but everything worked out good you guys will see that I purchased these brushes off of Amazon it was a set and they had um, a travel size uh, I don't think it was a free gift or anything but like a travel size with a case um, that comes with it so I was like oh let me get this because I watched um, the tastemaker here on YouTube I don't know if you guys have seen her she does a lot of wig reviews and sometimes she'll do her makeup but she recommended using these brushes and I love them they blend your makeup out really good and of course they don't soak um, like all your product away
So I'm just going in with this foundation. Um, I have it in the color 420, which y'all, it looked just like my skin when I put it on. And like I mentioned, I shouldn't have used that sponge with it because it soaked up a lot of the product. Um, try using a brush when you apply this. I feel like you'll get a better coverage and I don't wear a lot of, lot, a lot of foundation when I wear it. <laughs> um, I just kind of do the little drops that you guys see and then I'll blend it out in the concealer and the foundation powder or whatever powder I put on my face. It all comes together and it'll give you like a better, um, like better coverage to me. to turn down the um, brightness to make it go brighter and um, dimmer to see um, well to show y'all that how good of a match I'm looking in the mirror right here and it's the light that makes it look like um, almost like it has a cast to it or like it's too light and I thought that too I'm not gonna lie when I first got it I put it on like a little swatch of it I was like oh it's too light but literally when I'm looking in the mirror it looks just like my skin but I don't know if you guys can tell but well obviously you can see like on my face naturally contours on the side my birthmark you can still see my birthmark my moles on my face um you see that you can still see like my moles um like on my forehead you can still see um a little space like not spaces but spots and then this is a fresh pimple that's like it's still healing so it's really 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 light and i put concealer to try to cover it so i'm kind of having a hard time well it looks like the camera makes it look like that but when i look in the mirror you can't really see it but when i look to the mirror over there you can't really see it um like in person it's just the ring light situation um, it kind of shows not everything but it gives you like a weird kind of cast type of thing um, but in person this is covered up and like I said this is a fresh temple and, yeah. so I was kind of having an issue with that but I'm talking in circles it's, you can't see it in person um, yeah this is my first time using it and hmm, I don't know let's finish this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Y'all, when I tell y'all this stuff works so good, the other day when I did my makeup, I applied it um, as a highlighter and I went to blend it out like you guys are seeing um, in the video. I applied it and I 
tried to wait for it to uh, dry down and it was stuck so um, when you apply it go ahead and try to blend it out because it just sets completely and um, you'll see once I apply it I, I blend it out um, pretty fast because I'm like I'm not gonna do that again <laughs> I also applied more and this time I blended it out with the um, brush um, because I don't know the first time it didn't do that before when I used it over my foundation it was like there and you can really see it but for some reason it's like the sponge soaked it up this time it was really weird so I had to go in with another coat and I had to use my brush and yeah, it came out pretty good. I'm just applying this to my chin, my nose, and my forehead to kind of give me like a glow almost. And I'm gonna set it. You guys will see, and it'll um, it'll all come together.
Okay, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all to see what I'm seeing because with the ring light, it looks like nothing is blended and like it's too light under my eyes and it makes everything stand out. It kind of just shows. I don't want to say it shows everything, but because over here it's flawless. Like everything is blended well. Everything blends. Um, not blends, but everything is like my skin tone and it looks flawless over here. Like with this light, I don't know if you see. There we go again. Maybe it's just my camera. I don't know. And then you see, like, and I get with the ring light. Can you see? Okay, look. See how I look? I'm trying to catch it in the right light. The way I'm seeing it, it looks like my skin. Hopefully, it shows up like the way I'm seeing it when I um, edit it. So, let's finish. I'm almost done, y'all. Y'all, I have to work on my lighting. I don't know what it is with this new light. I don't like the way it comes off on camera. So, I'll have to fix that. But, I'm just going in with this. I thought, I, I made it like a contour stick. But, it's like the actual color of my skin. But, in person, it's not as light. You can see it there. And, you'll see. I'll blend it out. And, then I'll just add the powder over it. So, you know, it's just giving it a base for the powder to stick to. And, it looks really good. I'm using this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Um, I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and anywhere that I put the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Y'all, I love this stuff. It makes underneath my eyes last all day long. Even when I go to take my makeup off, my eyes look like I just did them. I love this stuff. Next, I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm going to apply this um, everywhere that I put my foundation. Also, anywhere you see I apply the cream or concealer, I always set it. Like the concealer, I set it with the Sasha Buttercup. And the contour, I set it with the palette um, that I showed you guys. This highlight and contour palette by I believe it's black radiance yes black radiance and um, we have a highlight a contour I forget what the other one is but I love this palette I have two of them as you can see um, the colors are really um, pigmented I guess you could say and I just go over where I want like a contour on my face to put some dimension back into my face and cheeks my nose, I didn't do my lip this time or my temples, just on the sides of my cheeks and my nose.
coffee and dance break when you almost done. <laughs> so this is the e.l.f. Um, blush palette. I believe this may be in dark. Um, like I said, I was trying to show you guys what, what, you know, what everything was, but my lighting was like almost so bright. I don't know. I gotta fix it, y'all. I'll fix it and I'll get better. I'm gonna try to list everything down below. Um, but I really like this blush palette. It's really made for um, us color girls. It, um, it's really pigmented and it looks really nice. It's a nice touch once you apply your foundation. It kind of brings back dimension into your face so your face is just not flat after um, applying the foundation. So. rid of um, the foundation and powder and everything that was on my lips I'm gonna line my lips I don't really have a top lip <laughs> so I was low-key about to try and overline my lip but I said you know what I'm not not today so um, I just line my lips and then I applied this pretty um, I guess it's like a um, lip gloss I don't really do my lips too much I'm more of a matte girl but um, I'll show you guys the color in a minute, but as you can see, I just applied it um, into the inner part of my lips. I, I not erased it. I wiped it off because I think I put too much lip liner on. I didn't like the way it was showing up, so I wiped some, some of it off, and then I just applied a little bit more of the lip gloss on top. Alright y'all, so that's the end of this video. Um, I didn't record myself spraying on my setting spray by NYX. There's a matte one and then I use one by Milani. I just spray those and it makes my, la my makeup last all day. Um, I think that in a combination of the um, Sasha Buttercup, that setting powder, it makes my makeup last all day. So. Um, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Um, thank you all who sent birthday wishes and all the love. I thank you all so much and I'll check y'all in the next video. Bye.